NBC5 News at 6 starts now. Could it be the answer to farming during drought? A Southern Oregon farm is on the cutting edge using a unique method to conserve water while watching their plants flourish. Good evening and thanks for choosing NBC5 News at 6. I'm Natalie Hurd. And I'm Christine Pitawanich in for Craig Smullen. It's really no secret, one of the most devastating impacts of this year's historic drought is on area farms. But one group of farmers in Weimar is doing better than ever. And while it may sound counterintuitive, their farm relies almost entirely entirely on water. NBC5's Kyle Averman joins us live in studio to explain. Kyle. Yeah, guys, it is called aquaponics. It is the combination of raising fish alongside plants and vegetables, and it is a method that is starting to quickly catch on. On top of this Weimar Hill sits a different type of greenhouse. Inside is a working farm combining plants and fish. Is this the future of farming? We believe so. We hope so. Meet Olivia Hitner and Michael Hasey, owners of the farming fish. They consider themselves pioneers in the world of aquaponics. We're prioritizing sustainable aquaculture right alongside saving resources with growing our vegetables. As you enter the greenhouse, there are six large water tanks. Each holds between three and 600 fish. But also what this does is it allows us to have different sized fish uh, to feed to create a certain amount of nutrients to support a certain amount of vegetables that you see on the other side of the greenhouse. The vegetables are growing on floating rafts and the roots dangle in the water absorbing fish waste. It's nutrients that the plants are consuming for growth. The plants clean the water, sending it back into the fish tank, and the cycle begins yet again. The farm relies almost entirely on water, but despite being in a severe drought, aquaponic farms actually use between 85 and 95 percent less water than traditional farms. Uh, we were able to uh, use over one and a half million gallons less water to grow the same amount of vegetables that it would have taken to grow in ground last year. Since the farming takes place inside, the growing season can last all year. And because the water temperature can be controlled, plants actually grow faster than they do in the ground. In the field, uh, they can only take up as much water and nutrients as are available at those ideal times of day. But in here, they have as much water and nutrients all day long, every day and uh, they don't have to work as hard for it. The farm currently grows basil, lettuce, even watercress, just to name a few, but the two say, who has to stop there? A big part of, of what we try to do is uh, keep up with our production, but also you know, push the envelope and see what else we can do. And the farm is currently trying to promote a Kickstarter campaign to help better insulate their greenhouse, which in the end will help better their production. And to learn more about that, you can visit our website, kobi5.com. Live in the studio, Kyle Lieberman, NBC5 News.